All right, so here's another invasive species. Can you guess what that is? Just by looking at it. Leaves are three, leave it be. How many leaves are on here? Leaves are five. Okay, this is called the Virginia Creeper. This plant, I've been pulling this plant on a regular basis for the last four years. And I managed to eradicate most of it. But no matter how much I seem to pull it off this tree and around the yard, it just keeps coming back. There's really no way to get rid of this. Because it makes these rhizomes or these vines grow underneath the surface of the soil as well. And they put down roots. And those roots are really hard to come up. It's The plant is kind of brittle, so it keeps snapping. There's no real true way to totally get rid of this plant. But I have been trying to get rid of this thing for a long time. I'm to a point where I don't really care anymore. Like I say, I'm selling the property, so I'll leave it with the new people and let them deal with it. But this plant can be a poisonous plant. Some people have an allergy to Virginia creeper. It's almost similar to poison ivy, and sometimes, in some cases, it can actually be worse than poison ivy, from what I understand. You know, there's, I'll leave a link in the description on this plant and some of the toxic effects of it. But some people are can be allergic. You don't know if you are or you're not. Now, me, I'm not. You can see I'm handling it, and I'm not. I'm not going to have a problem with it. I used to pull this out with my hands. But some people have a problem with it, and they can get very, very sick. So if you don't know if you're allergic to it, I don't recommend handling the plant without gloves or coming into contact with it, unless you're willing to like do a little sample on your arm somewhere, you know, and just rub it and see if you have a reaction from it it's better to know it how you react to it than to not know how you react to it and it gets severely sick now i'm not recommending this like a medical recommendation i'm not recommending that you go out and start rubbing this stuff all over yourself to find out don't do anything stupid but you do want to know where you stand with this plant so if you come across it in the wild and you're out in deep woods you're not going to get you don't want to get sick from this deep in the woods okay that you don't want. So it's better to know your limitations before you end up going into the woods and coming across this and thinking, it's oh, it's just a vine, I'm gonna pull it down and use it for cordage. Don't do anything stupid. This can be, I wouldn't say deadly plant, but I don't know if there's any recorded cases of people dying from it. But like sumac, it generally, like I'm not allergic to sumac, but some people are highly allergic to sumac and it could kill them. It could kill you because it closes off your windpipe. You have that type of a reaction. Your whole throat will swell up and stuff like that. And it could kill you. This, I believe, is similar like that. So if you're allergic to Virginia creeper, you can actually have a reaction to it that can be deadly. Now, I don't know if it's photoreactive, meaning it doesn't react until it hits the sunlight. So I'm not sure about that. I'll leave a link in the description. You can read about it. But... Yeah, this is the Virginia Creeper. Don't know if you're familiar with the name, but if you do come across it, use caution, okay? And if you're going to remove it, definitely use gloves or maybe hire somebody else if you have a lot of it to remove, to hire a landscaper to remove it because they're familiar with the plant and, and stuff like that, okay? So just be cautious around it, and I uh, just thought I'd share.